Hi, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm here on behalf of my colleagues, of course. We are representing the Junior Fulbright. Uh, excuse me, can, can, can we have uh, the whole team here uh, so okay. the audience would recognize them, please? Even if they are not going to talk, but That's okay. just to see them. Give them the credit. Thank you. Uh, of course, I have to say that we were missing one of our colleagues. Uh, the only woman was with us. Uh, she's pregnant. She's, she's, not, she's not able to be here. So, yeah, this is our group. We are uh, Fulbrighters from the Junior Faculty Development Program uh, of 2017. We're just back from uh, a month ago. Uh, and the name of our presentation is Aggie Fulbrighters. And Aggie is a, is a nickname of the postgraduate student of Texas A&M. And that's where our program works. This is our host institution, Texas A&M. Um, and if I have to talk about Texas A&M, it's, a, it's a beyond being one of the top 20 university in engineering over the world. It's also about traditions, how Texas A&M are full of traditions about football, about everything. That was a great experience for us. Our program outline, that's the presentation outline. We, during the junior faculty development program, it's learning how to be basically better professors. We learned how to make courses, syllabus, how to make assessments, teaching developments, how to use technology, and of course we were engaged in a lot of research and industrial projects too. At the beginning, just want to introduce our groups, so by fathers and names, and here we can thank the Fulbright Commission, of course, for choosing this variety of culture and, and, and universities. As you can see, we're all, all over Egypt. We have Lower Egypt, we have Upper Egypt. Of course, Dr. Hamouda will continue the presentation. Um, so that's how, how the Fulbright people did a great job in choosing our program, and thank you for that. Um, I will leave the floor for my colleague, Dr. Hamouda, will call, talk to you about the courses and the development we made there. Thank you, Jose. So I'm Hamouda Amosa. I'm an assistant professor in South Valley University from uh, Abu Egypt, Kenya. And now we are, I will discuss about what is the experience uh, which gave in the Texas A and M. So for your updates, that's the Texas A and M for the Renewable Energy is the second university ranked uh, in the United States uh, as a school of the renewable energy. So the, we attend many courses for the training in our program, like the seminar and grant how to write about the and similar on building research capacity and the solar and wind energy as a real energy and hydro and wave energy for cell gravitational energy by the professor Sergio Cabrera in the Texas A&M and the AM University. And again, the, the uh, leading outcomes are for the design, the, how to design the course syllabus and online teaching and uh, knowledge about the diversity of the uh, renewable energy and resources. But for your information, the, this program has a variety of the uh, background of the, my colleague, like the, Dr. Saeed Dussori, is from the other university in science and he works in the renewable energy as well. Dr. Hassan Nassar from Venezuela University is working in environmental science and uh, Dr. Lutfi. Uh, uh, <laughs> Work in the British University, Mechanical Engineering, and Yosef uh, uh, from uh, uh, Mansoor University, Electric Engineering, and Dr. Hadi Hadi from Hanover University is also uh, uh, Electric Engineering. And uh, our colleague uh, Iman and Eduardo, but she is half exercise today, she is Electric Engineering. So uh, there is a diversity background of uh, our background in research and uh, teaching. So, the professional development of academic training, so like the public uh, partnership and uh, research outcome, this by uh, uh, leading professors in the teaching excellence uh, uh, center in Texas and the University, and uh, providing the impact person in the background and interaction with the students, uh, the time management between the teaching and doing the research project as well. So, uh, 
the, the diversity and the how to deal with the students and be more friendly with them and the education process can be more student oriented. So we have like a gap between the professor and student here because of the crowding of the number. But in, in the United States we have like the, in Texas and then you can learn first and then follow and develop the practice your leadership skills and finally you can become some of other want to follow. And then I, this part you can present by Professor Said. That is okay. She's, I will take it from here, from Dr. Said. Thank you, Dr. Hamouda. So this part in the professional development, we make we learned how to make a difference in students' life, and how the the whole process of education can be more student oriented, and. And, and we can see in the U.S. how the students, how students, how laws are, are there for students who have disabilities, for students who are talented, and that can also be shown by the student and faculty relationships. So we learned it from professors there in Texas A&M how they can manage the relationship with students. Um, uh, also, how to make a difference with colleagues. We, uh, over there, we could see how the, the community of professors can work together and make this capacity building of all professors and post together students to offer high quality research. Also, how to be better at teachings. So, teaching pedagogies, how to give an interactive teaching techniques a chance to like um, use technology in classrooms, how can they be implemented over all classes, all disciplines. And of course, the cooperation because in Texas A&M, I think most of the U.S. university, how the, the, the research and the industrial parts can collaborate. So we learned how to license technology. So how can research outcomes be licensed through a lot of um, organization and industrial um, uh, uh, entities. And through our program, we made a memorandum between the, TAM, the Texas A&M University and the other university and Benny Swift University. We also had a lot of invitations to professors and scientists from Texas A&M to our universities in Egypt. And we are receiving, uh, we're, I think, Professor Dr. Capreda, who was uh, a senior at Texas A&M, is going to be, is, will be here, I think, in a couple of months, and we will have him to visit all our universities in Egypt. And of course, we have uh, applied for a lot of USA projects that was part of our program there, how to be better at writing proposals, how to be better at reaching out for research. Um, through, through also our program, we attended a lot of lectures and seminars about the teaching pedagogy, as I, as I was saying before, how the accreditation system, how is the accreditation system working in the US? We learned a lot about that too. And of course, we attended the, the Center of Teaching Excellence, which is a huge center of uh, teaching at the University of Texas A&M, we attended lecture and workshops of how to be better teachers. Oh, this this part of the cultural experience in Texas, this is the flags of the, the, the people that we met. This is the nationalities of people we met at Texas A&M. That's how the, the diverse, the community is there. And of course, the diversity in nationality means diversity in food too. And this is one of our friends back there. Yeah, it's a squirrel. Um, of course, we loved how the student activities are there because we spent the summer there, it was kind of desert at the beginning, but at the end of the program we, we were happy to see the students are coming back and we had this Aggie week. It was a great time to uh, engage with students, have, be part of their activities, and that was, not only, that was not only for just having fun and culture, that was actually part of our program as students or professors to engage with students, to see how other professors there in the U.S. engaging with students in their events. So that was not just for fun, we're actually enjoying it and enjoying being part of the students' life there. Still in this, in the, this culture exchange activities, we told our professor how to speak Arabic, how to write their names in Arabic, had a little fight of our own there. It was kind of fun. and. Of course, this part of the trips we had, we visited, all, I think, all over Texas. We were glad we skipped the, the hurricane, but it was great to be there in NASA, of course. It was a great trip to learn more about uh, all of these places. Um, still, this, this part where the... Um, uh, uh, let's, let's forget about this photo. <laughs> I'm talking about the Nile, the Nile cruise. This was part of the trip sponsored by Texas A&M to Egypt. 
and we were engaged to how, how to see how the, the Texas A&M community was, wanted to know more about Egypt. That's why we ended up giving presentations about Egypt to professors and students there. And this photo there is a trip organized by the Texas A&M to Egypt. I'm the one above, by the way. That's another thing. <laughs> Of course, uh, the cohort name was Renewable Energy, so we had the chance through the prof our professor, Dr. Capareda, he's on the left there. We, taught, we, we were taught about the whole variety of renewable energy sources, wind, hydro, solar, geothermal, wave, tidal, bioenergy, and through our program, we learned that Egypt had a lot of potential of digging out these kind of energies. Uh, because in Egypt, the renewable energy um, field is still going up, and we have a lot of contribution here in, the, in these professors, these great professors in the field of renewable energy in Egypt. But through our program, we learned how to like, be more engaged, be more uh, effective using all these sources of renewable energy. Um, I think this final part where we engaged with a lot of industrial and practical applications. For example, the gasifier demonstration, this is one of the technologies that our professor licensed it, and it was part of his research. And it was basically part of the renewable energy, how to use uh, maneuver and uh, uh, biomass and turn it into gas, gasoline or, and running engines. And this photo in the middle was, uh, the engine was running over the biomass. So that was part of the demonstration we attended there. We have a lot of site visits to energy plants, the Tammy Power Plant and uh, the Geothermal Lab in, uh, in um, SMU that was in Dallas, and that's the robotics lab. And of course, through the Texas A&M labs, we have, we've given the chances, we're given a lot of resources to use. So we give the resources of labs there, using the libraries, the biomedical labs. And at the end, through our program, um, in, in the Texas A&M University, we learned how to be more functional and universal leaders, brilliant, reliable, innovative, ingenious, hard worker, and talented. And that's how Fulbright Commission presents for us, and how, that's how we learned to be more engaged with society through these high models that we are trying to bring on to our community. Thank you so much.